If you haven't seen Idiocracy, go watch that movie. I don't believe in the premise of it, right? But it's a really cool thought experiment based on, okay, dumb people are breeding smarter or breeding faster than smart people. So eventually the average IQ is going to start going down. Like After humanity. Yeah. And then it's full idiocracy and garbage avalanches. Bud and Rutgers becomes butt, butt fuckers. fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> family restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> butt fuckers family restaurant. <laughs> yep. That was it. All right. Speaking of which, theorganicprepper.com what will schools look like after covid prison camps they'll look like prison camps now i'm not joking in my tone to provide any kind of discounting of this point or sensationalism but like yeah holy crap how dare you as a parent send your kids to a government school they you know when they say like I, i'm really excited to get into the story because i care so much about the education issue and the implications and you know someone uh, looking to have kids soon figuring out you know what's the balance you know homeschooling unschooling uh private schools if there's if there's a way but you know most importantly fostering self-guided learning in my children encouraging their their natural state of curiosity and and indulging them with information and and supplies and experience to learn and grow and and be uh, happy whole productive adults in the world and we did this on adam versus the man six years ago a segment called school or prison and we took pictures of prisons and schools and we zoomed in we said is this a school or a prison and you had to guess and obviously there there are prisons that look more like you know, parts that you could say would look like a school and with schools with massive you know, cinder block walls and tall fences topped with concertina wire. There are schools that look like prisons. But here's the trick. We zoomed out. They were all schools, a dozen photographs. And you're just like, yeah, well, it's a forced education system. It's, it's it, you know, yes, you can opt out. But it is essentially at, at some form of gunpoint. Now, yeah, okay. It's more coercive that you have to pay for it. Uh, th th there's a lot of other coercion in the government school system, but that you that you even have to opt out is uh, just a, 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 a terrible state of affairs that we find ourselves in. So this is by Daisy Luther. If you've been wondering what it will look like when the kids go back to school, one school in Quebec has released their new guidelines and they're shocking. Apparently schools are going to look a lot like prison camps. What, they're going to have metal detectors at the doors? No, we got that in the 90s. <laughs> well, they're going to have pat-downs. They're going to have random drug searches. They're going to, nope, got that. Yeah, normal practice in American schools already. All right, here are the guidelines one school has laid out. Schools in Quebec, Canada are reopening on May 19, and one school released its guidelines. This list was submitted by a parent to the Facebook page, K for Education. The school was not not named for the privacy of the parent. Now, if you're saying to yourself, this is Canada, there's no way this nonsense will happen here in America. I urge you to remember that the lockdown restrictions in Canada are far less stringent than those in the United States. Look around at the ridiculous rules we already have, like stores choosing what items are essential for us to buy, then tell me it can't happen here. Here are those reopening guidelines. To minimize movement, we forecast assigning students to classes nearest the Berlin Street entrance on all three floors if needed only. Once assigned to a class, students will spend their entire day, including lunchtime, in their assigned seat. Wow. Recess just ain't a thing anymore. Get, I mean, I can't do that. And, and I'm an adult. You want me to sit in the same chair all, like, really? Now, this could be some well-intentioned administrator, but I kind of doubt it. We know that the modern school system, that, that is not just in Canada, but all modern bureaucratic governments, certainly first world countries today, is designed, engineered, to suppress individuality and creativity. It is set up to condition you 
your children, to be good little cogs in the machine. And I was a victim of this system as well. I am not immune to it. I went to government, and I went to good school. Uh, Blue Ribbon, California elementary, middle schools. I went to I went to good private prep schools, but even those schools really were, were part of the mainstream education paradigm, just a little more expensive. And to this day, I find myself deconstructing these false paradigms in my head, these false dichotomies, these false premises that have been foisted on me through years of conditioning. This is why I joined the Marine Corps in the first place. <laughs> By the way, fortunately now, it's looking like if you tested positive for COVID-19, you can join the military. Nice little silver lining there. I don't, I don't, they're going to, they're going to change that policy. I bet, you know what? There's another prediction. I bet that policy is going to change. They announced recently the policy that if you've tested positive, I guess it's antibodies or, or any positive tests or diagnosis for COVID-19, you can't join the military. You know why they're doing that? Because the youth is not sufficiently compliant. They have not bowed down enough to the corona fear and said, oh, yeah, they're, they're out licking vegetables. and <laughs> you know, No, hey, we won't let you kill people overseas if you don't knock that shit off and follow our social distancing guidelines. Yeah. Students must expect to be regrouped based on the number of students returning. Students must not expect to return to their regular class with their classmates. Your child may not be with the same teacher as before several members of our staff will not be returning to school. Teachers not returning to school will continue working and keeping close contact with students remotely from home as recommended by the government. Activities completed while in school will not be evaluated or graded. What? Excuse me? Squeeze me? The thing has failed. Activities completed in, not in school, while in school, will not be evaluated or graded. We're going to participation trophy land now. No physical materials will be transported back and forth between home and school. Yeah, you're going to show up in your hazmat suit, strip it off before you get home or when you get home. Students must include a mini garbage and recycling bag with their lunch in order to collect their personal garbage and dispose of it at home. <gasps> Woo! Gotta have that garbage can sterile. You might give someone corona with it. All students must bring in their personal labeled and filled water bottle as water fountains won't be available. Of course. Now, actually, this is one little thing I'm kind of like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> as, a, as a, I think, practical germaphobe, like I, you know, I carry I carry a water bottle this time. You know, I'm not drinking my soda water. Um, yeah, uh, and carrying a water bottle that's good practice. Uh, you know, getting human beings is, is like part of their their education experience. That you got to carry a water bottle. You got to have it marked for for sanitation safety. And uh, you know, I, okay, but are water fountains like where germs are transmitted? I'm thinking of the whites only water fountains in the South, right? In, in the in the fifties oh, and sixties, yeah, yeah, yeah. whites only water fountains. It's this is like be this is a long term play by the super class to fuck with the next generation. That's what this is, because the kids that come out of this education environment will be so frightenable so easy to manipulate and exploit this if you send your kids back to a government school after this you are volunteering them to have a kind of lobotomy by propaganda and conditioning that's what all of this uh, it, you know i don't think it's this bad i don't like it oh it couldn't happen well nah. it's going in this direction there's going like there is going to be a significant shift in education, in institutions of, of government-run schools, public education, to this, a, a ratcheting up to a whole new scale of militarization and control through government education facilities of individual students. 
When weather permits, recess breaks will be held outdoors and will entail of walking outside safely distanced from one another in a prearranged pattern. You know what that sounds like? Military formations. Sharing of all items, pencils, pens, sharpers, wax, crayons, rulers, toys is not permitted. Gatherings, groups of students together will not be permitted. Limited travel throughout the school by all during the day. Bathroom visits will be monitored slash escorted so that proper disinfection by our caretakers can follow before another student uses the facility. Well, why not just bubble boy everybody? Why Really, why not just give everybody a hazmat suit? And say fuck it, like the, the last comment. yeah, be, yeah. Well, I've been I've been talking about this. Like this is this is a really important concept to keep in mind in all of the virus fear mongering nonsense. Is that they get really the worst they can do, and it's this is really bad is bully us into a hazmat suit world where anytime you're off your private property or out of the home, you have to be in a hazmat suit. Okay, but like you don't have to do all of this. Like they, 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 they're but this is like this is so inhumane as per government recommendations masks and gloves will not be provided i don't know where, why they have to point that out students are certainly welcome to bring these items from home they are also invited to carry their own personal disinfecting wipes with them if they wish lock imagine just not being able to see human faces outside the home how weird is that going to be there's no face-to-face -face interaction like if everybody in school or you know i've seen there they're like what was it menards yeah someone yeah. here in arizona they said you couldn't go into a menards without a face covering or at all without the face covering. all right you don't want my germ germy business lockers will no longer be used students will place their spring slash summer jackets behind the chair they will be using and their school bags under their assigned desks there will be no cafeteria service or homeschool pizza and frozen yogurt days there will be no physical activity taking place in the gym no art classes, although art and craft projects can be promoted as home suggestions. No library periods and no drama classes. There will be enough real life drama for you. No fundraisers or after school activities will take place. Parent volunteers will not be permitted in school. We recommend your child brings a book or two of interest from home to read. <laughs> They're gonna be sitting alone in a corner for extended periods or alone at their desk, unable to interact with anyone. Students with fever or flu-like symptoms will be returned home. We we have a, an important comment here, Jim. Uh, not necessarily important, just funny. Craig Doherty says, "Will spitwads in this school be deemed bioweapons?" Ah, ah, yes, spitwads are now bioweapons. Your childhood has been ruined. Back to the organic prepper. Lest it sound as though this is a total outlier, here is the guidance from another school similar but not quite as harsh here are documents from the minister of education outlining the guidelines to be followed and did you notice there were quite a few inconsistencies kids can't take anything back and forth from school you know except for their lunches their garbage their water their ppe and some books free that stuff doesn't count as going back and forth and clearly is germ free i don't know this is why don't they just put coronavirus free zone signs up in front of schools it'll work just like the gun free zone signs oh so well no none of this is going to work all of this feeds into the general agenda of control through controlling education which happens to be one of the planks of the communist manifesto no coincidence take control of the education and turn it into an indoctrination system and now our children are getting indoctrinated into a new reality of possibly creeping towards a new world order of a technocracy of a lab coat mafia of governments managing public health to its detriment